Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, I'm basically going to take you guys into Logic's Pro's, uh, Logic Pro's audio effects. I'm going to open you guys up a plugin called the Delay Designer. I'm basically going to show you guys around it, uh, show you what kind of options the, the, the plugin has to offer. Um, basically, let you know what it is so, so that when you use it, you have a little brief, uh, you have some brief knowledge on it. So we're going to go into audio effects, we're going to go into delay, we're going to go to delay design, and we're going to open it up, it's going to look a little something like this. Now with delay, you're always going to need to have the same tempo as the, as the song uh, in order to sequence your delays or sequence your timing. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> here you got your pan, you got your levels, uh, you got your grid, and uh, how how uh, how you want to sequence your delay. Swing, uh, you, can, you can click uh, start to... Uh, to have it process whatever audio it is. Um, uh, you mix how wet you want it, how dry you want it, and how much feedback you want on it. Uh, a lot of this stuff has to do with like uh, EQing and filters and things like that. Um, but basically, what you need to know is over here the delay, the mix, the swing, and the grid. Uh, that's that's gonna determine how how uh, how much delay you got going on or how the delay is sequenced. Uh, this is about it. Uh, I'd suggest you guys go and open it up and try it out on a vocal or something like that. See how it works. That's probably the best way. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something brief and new. Uh, thank you guys for watching it and please subscribe.